Hello friends, welcome everyone to the second part of the DBSCAN algorithm. So in the last video we have discussed about core point, noise point and border point. So today we will discuss about this three concept, this density connected points about the this three concept density, directed density reachable, density reachable and density connected. So the definition of directly density reachable tells you that a point or an object P is directly density reachable from object Q if P is within the epsilon neighborhood of Q and Q is a core point. So now we can see that these three points P, P contains more than three points because minimum mean points value is 3. In the epsilon neighborhood of F, it contains more than 3 points and in the epsilon neighborhood of Q, it contains more than 3 points. So, P, M and Q, these are 3 core objects because it contains minimum 33 number of points. Now, we can say that P is directly density reachable from M. Why? Because, oh sorry, M is this point M is directly density reachable from P. M is directly density reachable from P because M is within the epsilon neighborhood of P and P is a core point. Okay, Because M is within the epsilon neighborhood of P and P is a core point. But the reverse is not always true. P is not directly density reachable from M. Why? Because P is not within this boundary of epsilon neighborhood of M. So the concept, concept of directly density reachable is asymmetric. That means if M is directly density reachable from P, it does not mean that P is also will be directly density reachable from M. Okay. So this is directly density reachable. The next thing is the density reachable. So that according to the definition, so we can say that P is density reachable from Q if there is a chain of objects P1 up to Pn where P1 equal to Q and Pn equal to P such that Pi plus 1 is directly density reachable from Pi for all values of n i from 1 to n. So you can see, we can say that M is directly density reachable from P because M is within the epsilon neighborhood of P and P is a core point. Like this also, we can say that Q is, Q is not directly density reachable from M because Q is not within the epsilon neighborhood of M. So, so if I say this particular point, if I draw a circle over there, if I draw a circle by considering this, so Q will be the will be in the epsilon neighborhood of M because see M is this point. So you have to draw a circle by considering this. So it will be like this. So I think Q is directly or M is directly density reachable from Q. Okay. So first is M is directly density reachable from P and Q is directly density reachable from M. Why? Because this is the center and this will be the radius I think. So if you draw a circle Q is Q will be within the epsilon neighborhood of M. So M is directly density reachable from P and Q is directly density reachable from M. So what we can say that Q is density reachable from P. Okay. So because there is a chain of objects P to M and M to Q. So we can say that Q is directly density, Q is simply density reachable from P. As you can see, the density reachable concept is symmetric. What do you mean by symmetric is that? And this relation, uh, their relationship directly density. If I say P is density reachable from uh, Q, so it means that Q is also density reachable from P. So the relation is always symmetric in nature. Okay. So next is the density connected concept. So a point is P is density connected to a point Q if there is an object O such that both P and Q are density reachable from O. Okay. So what we can say, if you see in this diagram, we can say that R is a point, R is density reachable from O and S is also density reachable from O. So S is density reachable from O and R is density reachable from O. So we, what we can say that? R and S are density connected. Okay, so 
we got three different concept directly density receivable is that m is within the epsilon neighborhood of p and p is a core point so m is directly density receivable from p okay so this concept is asymmetric in nature it doesn't mean that p is also will be density directly density receivable from m okay because if you draw a circle it may not be within the proximity of the m so the concept is asymmetric in nature Di density receivable is this if m is density reachable from q and q is dense directly density reachable from m we can say that p and q are density reachable and density connected is that s is density reachable from o r is density reachable from o so we can say that r and s are density connected so this using this concepts we can define the db scan algorithm so let's see how the db scan algorithm works this is the basic db scan algorithm so we can say that db scan searches for clusters by checking the epsilon neighborhood of each point in the database fine so if the epsilon neighborhood of a point p contains more than the minimum number of points a new cluster which p as a core object is created fine db scan then iteratively iteratively collects directly density reachable objects from this core objects which may involve the merge of a few density reachable clusters the process terminates when no new point can be added to any cluster so in this way it will label all points as core border and noise points and it will eliminate the noise points okay so this is how your density based clustering algorithm works which is defined using the concept of 